Welcome back, everybody. No Man's Sky here and Elon Paul going on my no HUD, no starter ship, no anything, uh, really no hope either, actually, to even finding anything related to what might be a ship or anything at this point. Um, really starting to lose hope that we are going to find anything worthwhile here, a ship or anything that we can find to repair. A uh, landing pad, um, an Uber, anything, someone send me a taxi, you know, I don't know, a plane ticket, I don't mind on standby, that's okay, red eye, perfectly fine, kind of getting sick of this planet, it's pretty enough, it's nice enough, but my gosh, could it possibly be taking any longer to find something. I mean, I should have found something by now. At least that's my own thought on this. And they're going to be jetting to the right in a second. So, we just won't see them, unfortunately. Yeah, there they are. Now let's get up to this ridge, see what we can find. What do we got? 28 minutes left to find something. To find anything. Gosh, it's a 74 Dodge Dart. We'll take it. Yeah. More of the same. Let's get up there. That was weird. Let's try that again. Probably running low on juice. Life juice at this point. Yep, a little bit low. Alright. Push it, Joe. All right. Taking a look around. Start over here first. That's a pretty good vantage point from up here. All right. Let's see. Nothing. 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 In case you're wondering, that is chlorine. Um, kind of valuable. It's not terribly valuable. They nerfed that one too, so don't get as much money for them anymore, but still handy. Have it over here. Anything? Anything? Don't see anything. See a lot of asteroids falling all over the place, but not seeing any ships. Okay, we don't need you. Okay. Yeah. Where is the... There you are. Okay. So, not finding a lot. And got our sentinel down there doing a little search pattern nonsense. Over here. That's gonna hurt. 
Yeah. At least I knew it was coming that time. I swear, I think the nights here are longer than the days. That's anything but a deposit. Yep, that's right. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Not a whole lot of anything. Okay, there they are. We're heading that way. So, here we go. 24 minutes to go. Because we do have to give up at some point. I'm not going to do this, uh, you know, 400 hour run. Well, guys, we've circumnavigated navigated the whole globe here 14 times. And we aren't finding anything. No one will land and say hi. No one will give me any money. I don't have the money for an Uber. The animals don't like me anymore. Really, this is kind of a stink coming from the inside of my suit. I don't know where that's coming from. Hey, some more unearthed technology. Let's go ahead and grab it. Why not? And they just headed in that direction completely. That's interesting. Almost tempted on heading that way to see what happens. We've circumnavigated the globe four, 42 times and you know what? We haven't even found the original ship that we should have had. Try turning on the HUD again and it's broken. Yeah, right. That would be it. Daytime. Finally. We're not gonna make it. Is that more of the same. Alright, how are we doing down there? That's nine of them, huh? All right, keep going. Come on, enough dilly dally. There's another square inch of ground I'm sure I haven't seen yet. Love to see where I am on the planet. I'd like to see if we've literally traveled half the planet yet. I mean, granted, yeah, it's been, you know, closing in on five hours of play time here, but you really think you would have seen something by now. Hilarious. Yeah, 42 circuits of the planet. I've upgraded my exosuit 42 times while I've been going around the planet. And it's got uh, every conceivable upgrade that I could find as well. Got hopeful for a second. I thought that might be something out that way, but no. Okay, still going the right way. Good. Always got to check. Do do do. Okay. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should take up some kind of singing lessons or something like that. And I can actually entertain you a little bit more while we do this. You know, do one of those one man band things. I can get some instruments going in the background here. I'm playing No Man's Sky and playing guitar and a xylophone at the same time. Yeah, that talented. Nope, not going to show it on camera. I'll go ahead and take you, why not? Ah, uh, whack. We're sorry, we broke everything in your suit and are now dead. Hmm. 
you broke your spleen. We're very sorry. Get some ferrite dust. That'll fix it. Oh, my dad always said. Rub some dirt in it. Walk it off. Look. A rock. My gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Look. It's another rock. Yep, we are starting to lose it, I think. We are going to be doomed to wander the planet forever. Or at least until someone resets the galaxy again. gonna go up to this next ridge and take a peek around. We got some fuel over here we can use. And it's out. Now we're on our own fuel. But that's okay. That got us almost to the top. Of this spot anyway. see anything down there or over there is it more chlorine that's funny what you think that's funny look a rock I don't see anything over that way Now that didn't break anything. It's funny. Face first into a cliff. No problem. Keep going. What? Well, you tripped over a rock? And you didn't... Sorry, we're going to have to give you damage for that. Yep, yeah, you can't climb it. But by all means, you can't use your jetpack either. Come on. Let's go. Oh, this isn't frustrating. Let's go up on an angle, see if that helps. Yeah, it did. What do you know? Look, a round rock. No, nope, don't see anything up there. Don't ask, I just felt like it. Hey, what do you know? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's take a look around. See, now that over there shows promise. It's usually those little alcoves that you can usually find something in. Like They're not quite natural. Literally getting so tired. I might check those out over there on the left. Because it's just something about them that piques my curiosity. Where's the, uh, there they are. Okay, just want to make sure we're not 
backtracking against ourselves here. So we can't really quite see into those areas. Did we literally hurt ourselves again? Unbelievable. I'm not sure what just happened. It's like it had a reaction to. Yeah, see, that was the area I was looking at. I was hoping there was something there. There we go. That would have hurt. Again, we'll check just to make sure. Yeah, sure enough. Look at that. Need a carbon nanotube and a wiring loom to fix it, too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if we get rid of it, we can't reinstall it. Really, really, really amazing. So, I gotta get rid of some stuff here. Get rid of you. And we're gonna actually get rid of this, even though... Well, this isn't really doing anything for us. There's our wiring loom. So, there we go. That helped. And we need a carbon nanotube, which I think we can make. Uh, but we don't have enough carbon. Okay, we'll do that right now. At least get some of the dihydrogen again, because, you know, we had to use up. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Okay, now let's go get carbon. Ugh. And he's going to be there to get us to get annoyed at us for trying to cut down a plant. Is that giving us carbon, or what is it giving us? No, definitely not giving us carbon. How much did that give us? Give us enough? Nope. We're near enough. Nobody's attacking us, so we'll just go ahead and do this. What a great waste of our time. There we go. So she's back to normal. Alright, good. So we ended up with some uranium in our inventory. I think that's funny. Uh, it can't really help us at all. We'll hang on to it for the moment, but... Well, i got to find something in the next uh, ten minutes. Or this may just be the last episode of this permadeath no HUD challenge. Because frankly, there's nothing worse than to perpetuate something that could take, you know, 17, 18, 20, 30 hours to get done. Oh, for crying out loud. Still nothing. Well, 
I just want to see what else got broken. That's all. So there's a good reason to gather up other things that you don't need rather than just getting rid of them. Install them and get the resources out of them. Because the resources you might be able to use one day. Keep them installed until you don't really need them anymore. So, yeah, learn something there. So, if you haven't seen the video about the ultimate, or the return of the ultimate multi-tool, check it out. Um, I give credit where credit's due to the people who originally found these things. I made sure I gave them credit, but... Uh, it's just my own spin on things. On what I think the multi-tool is like. Um, it's very, very handy. Um, I've had people respond back in comment sections saying, you know, well, great, you got 47,000 damage at it. Well, I got one that's got 100, 110, 120,000. Yeah, you can get those kind of damage numbers if you hack program. If you hack No Man's Sky, you add mods in from the outside doubling and tripling your output from a multi-tool. Yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. Go ahead and boast about it, but don't boast to me. I don't boast to people about how well I modded something. It's just not really... I don't know, it's just not my way. I mean, there's certain mods that can be useful. You know, if, if you like a particular multi-tool to use every single time you play the game... You could probably put in a mod that gives you that type of multi-tool or make the multi-tool that you're using look like that kind of multi-tool. As in like an appearance modifier or something like that. That doesn't really affect gameplay. But if you're using something that's really heavily affecting the gameplay and, you know, it's basically cheating after a fashion. And granted, we're all cheating at some point or another. You know, glitch duplication, that's cheating. We all know it is. But it's almost like an added feature of the game to do so. But when you use an outside third-party software to get in there and, you know, mod something, you know, great, that's great if it's your way of doing things. No problem. But, uh, you know, don't boast about the fact that you can get that kind of damage potential out of a multi-tool, but only if you use a particular mod. So, it doesn't really help anybody out, and... Those of us who are purists, who like to play the game in its most purest forms, we really, uh, don't think it makes a difference. We'd rather use it as it was intended. As we've said many times before. All right. Well, we are 24 minutes in, and we still aren't any closer to finding what we need. And it's nighttime. Yay. Are you kidding me? Make sure nothing got broke again. Boy, good thing this guy doesn't fart in his pants, man. I'm sorry, you damaged your exosuit. And there you go, olfactory senses, and the fact that you just basically can't smell anything anymore. Congratulations. Where is, there it is. Okay, we're going to go up the hill anyway. Because I want to get another, at least one more look around before I... Before I declare sayonara to this planet and bid it adieu. I mean, I don't want to give it up. I understand, you know. I don't like giving things like this up. But, honestly, this is ridiculous. 
I should have seen something, anything by now. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Not really seeing a whole heck of a lot out there, people. You guys are going to head to the right. Yep, there you go. I am literally seeing nothing. I mean, even few buildings. I mean, this is kind of crazy. So, I'm tempted. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to not give it up per se, in the sense that I'm going to give you guys an option. So we're going to, we're going to release these videos over the weekend. And I'm going to ask you, the ones who have always watched these videos from beginning to end, I want you all to decide how we're going to finish this. Do I just give up and, you know, take the character out of the picture, delete the program, delete the, the save, or do we turn our HUD back on and take a look around? And start using the HUD instead. We'll go with the premise that he fixed his HUD. And can now find items nearby. Or how do we want to do this? How do we, how indeed do we want to do this? Let's go over to that ridge. While you think about it. We'll go a little bit further. We'll take a look at the ridge over there. And I'll give you a chance to think about it. So comment section. Pull up the comments. Hey, Paul, what I think you should do is, and give me your opinion. That's what I'd like to hear. Because I'm all ready to give up. But if you're like, you know, I'm really actually enjoying this, go ahead and continue the run as it is. And don't give up. Then we'll go with that premise of things. Never give up. Never surrender. And we'll go from there. Okay. Just did that. I swore I did, but eh, whatever. I was picking up, I was, I was too busy pontificating and declaring my intentions without actually doing anything worthwhile. Alright, here we are. Final ridge. Final ridge, we'll take a look. Is there anything out here? I don't know what that is. Metal. Paraffinium or something. More paraffinium. Okay, so we can declare indeed that there is nothing out here that we can find. So we are done. So this episode is going to be named You Decide. You tell me, do we continue on? Or do we give up? There we go. And that's our screenshot for the episode. Do we give up or do we move on? Go with a different episode. That's what I'd like to know here, folks. Let's get everything charged up to maximum. We'll leave them right here. Um... Looks like everything's ready. Oh, wait. Right there. Okay. So we are all set. We are all set. We got a couple more spaces left in inventory. Everything's all done. Um, let's see our last save. Was a minute ago. So you tell me, what are we doing? What indeed do we need to be doing here? Okay. Like and subscribe, please, by all means. And best yet, what I'd like you to do is tell me what you want to do with this episode. So you tell me. You can see my icon there is on the screen at the top left. I've got the latest video. I talked about the multi-tool. I'm going to put that at the bottom right. You all decide. And I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you very much for watching. 
This is Alad Paul signing off with possibly the last episode to this series. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.